the name of 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 the chalk uh, includes another century because we have found uh, more manuscripts from the 16th century. So uh, instead of being interactive, 17 to 18th century uh, Spanish missing notation is 16 uh, uh, to 18 missing notation. This is a, a project developed by the University of Alicante, the National Research uh, Council in Spain, 96, for the musicological part, and the Arts and Design School in Alicante also. Okay, we can find new music, we can generate new music, uh, both generating new music from scratch, uh, we can find new editions of known music by the works of the musicologists that uh, edit known material and generate new one. And one profession named uh, paleographist, uh, the people that look uh, for the old manuscripts uh, can find new, new material in manuscripts and generate new music from that. And this is uh, the case we are focusing on. Let me give a little brief introduction uh, to really understand the problem. Um, this site supports more or less the, the project we are working with. Uh, we, we tend to, use, uh, to think that, that the new notations, or everything new is better than the, the, the old counterparts. However, uh, we think that's not always the case. Other thing is that when we uh, take a look to the, the early notations, we don't understand everything and we think that's, that's in some cases ambiguous. But uh, in many cases, this kind of, of notations uh, need other uh, part that's the traditional, the, the oral uh, tradition, the transmission of the, of the, of the concepts. No? Uh, if we have everything, we have the, the, the theory at that time and the notation, we have uh, everything we need to, to do a, a successful uh, performance. And finally, something I think it's very important is that the, the notation cannot be removed from the context in we, for which uh, it was composed. Yeah? I think that's <coughs> something important. Mm. Nowadays, um, there have been uh, are, uh, many efforts have been made to, to preserve the cultural heritage, but uh, this is something new. In this example, uh, we can find a 17th century uh, manuscript covered using an early uh, uh, Gregorian chant manuscript. So the people from that time did not think that they had to preserve anything for, for, for us. No? Let's put in context um, the music, the kind of music we are, we are working with. Uh, I have chosen th these four ma uh, milestones of notation. The first, the, the Greek music, the Greek notation, the pneumatic uh, notation for Gregorian chant, the menstrual notation, and finally the, the modern notation. The case of Greek music notation, it may be the first written uh, music notation that we can find. Uh, in this case, uh, the sounds were represented by letters and numbers, and there are not many manuscripts or, or material that can be found. <coughs> the case of, of pneumatic notation, uh, we know it for the Gregorian chant notation, uh, it was generated by the need of, of letting the, the, the singers to remember the, the melodic lines of what, of what uh, they had to, to sing. Yeah? Um, in this case, we, we just represent, uh, this notation just represents the, the melodic contour. Uh, it does not represent any kind of rhythm. The rhythm was given by the, uh, by the patterns of the, of the Latin language accents. Yeah? With that, they have enough uh, to, to, to generate a melodic line with, with some rhythm. The case of mensural notation, uh, it was a, it, the birth of the, of the mensural notation was generated by the, by, by the need of aligned several voices in, in polyphonic music. Now, they had, as they had polyphonic music, the composers had to align several voices. So to align several voices, they, they needed to, to introduce a rhythm and notation. Uh, 
it's it's important to to note that in this case we don't have a uh, bar lines uh, for separating measures um, other thing that generated the the this kind of notation is that uh, at that time the vernacular languages the the, the spanish the french uh, german and so on uh, had different uh, accentuation patterns from the latin language so they needed to to write different rhythms and finally, the place we are now, no? from the time of Bach, passing through Stravinsky, and arriving to, to this workshop. No? Uh, the, in, the, in the modern notation, I think that the frontier that separates from the menstrual notation is that we have uh, bar lines to separate the, the, the measures. So we are focusing in, in the menstrual notation. At the time, it was uh, more or less standardized. No? Uh, we we focus all uh, in menstrual notation that may contain uh, symbols of early Gregorian chant and the new modern notation yeah? and some Spanish particularities that we we will see uh, just now. In the rest of Europe uh, of Europe but Spain, all the music was paid by the aristoc aristocracy, and the main means of distributing the, the content, uh, the musical content was using uh, printed copies. Uh, the printed copies at that time uh, uh, had many constraints. They, they for example, couldn't, um, couldn't print slurs. Eh? So the alphabet they used uh, was very, very, very little. In the case of Spanish music, uh, at that time, well, Spanish music and Latin American music, you know, the, 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 uh, all the, the Spanish uh, uh, countries at, at that time. In that case, the music was mostly paid by, by the Catholic Church, and uh, the composer, the choir master, had to generate one word uh, for each one of the daily celebrations. So they had to write lots and, and lots of words. Uh, the paper at that time was very expensive, so they used a, a, a wood that could be raised. Uh, this is named uh, Tabula Compositoria. And uh, from that, the copyists generated uh, uh, the parts for each of the voices. Uh, one important thing to, to, to note is that uh, the people, the copyists, were in many cases boys that, that couldn't sing because they were changing their voices. No? So um, the quality of the, of the copies in many cases is not very good. Uh, in this case, as they use a written notation, they, they didn't have so, uh, so many constraints uh, as the printed uh, music. So our objective is to encode this kind of music. Uh? It's mostly 17th century uh, uh, music. Uh, and what, what we, we are doing is to encode in the, motion, the, the musical content, the pitches and the rhythm. Uh, we encode also the calligraphic style, flag directions, slurs, uh, custos, and all, all these kind of things. Uh, we are solving many problems that we will see uh, just now. And uh, we are doing real-time uh, uh, transcription to modern music uh, so that people, normal people can understand it. And uh, something that we want to do, we have not done it yet, is to export it to, to international catalogs like the RISM uh, that, that uh, contains a collection of uh, 2 million insipids uh, of music. The problems I, 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 I was telling uh, that before, I, I have grouped them in, in three groups. The first one is that we have a, a huge library of, of manuscripts, a very high uh, collection of manuscripts that were written in a special notation that uh, are, there are not too many people that can understand it. Uh, there are people that can, can read a, a menstrual notation, but this notation contains some uh, uh, several elements that are not uh, very common uh, to, to the Europe, Europe common menstrual notation. The second one is that uh, we don't find just a a single style uh, for each copies we have a, a different a different style because it's written. Uh, we can find elements of Gregorian chant and modern notation, and uh, there are many can be many mistakes done by the voice. 
eh, they have to be disambiguated by the content or by the alignment of the voices, for example. And finally, is that uh, it's difficult to work with copies because the copies may sometimes contain uh, artifacts uh, that, that can be uh, can can disturb the, the transcriber. No? And the other part is that uh, we we uh, we work we have to work with originals, but these originals in some cases are very damaged. For example, they contain even holes. No? Let's give some examples. In this case. Uh, was that uh, a dot of a blot of ink, eh? or th these are the the, the rests uh, in mensural notations. The, this is the breve, semi breve, and minima. And in this case, was that a blot of ink or, or a rest? It's difficult. Is the context what disambiguates the situation? In this case, they they are using an element of modern notation that's the bar line that has been used by the by the copies to disambiguate the situation. In this case, this accidental is affecting both nodes, the, 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 both uh, black nodes, the left one and the right one. Mm? It's used for, for both nodes. But it's not always the case, because in this case, they use two accidentals for both nodes. So you see the, the, the different styles of, of encoding. Or the, the we don't have, a, in all cases, a direct translation of durations, for example. This maxima, this, this figure is a maxima. This just means to be very, very long, because it's uh, finishing the composition. Hmm? For encoding this kind of notation, the, the, the common uh, commercial or open source uh, tools, Sibelius, uh, uh, Finale, and uh, MuseScore, these kind of, of tools, cannot be used. Uh, for main two reasons, one is that they don't have, uh, they always use the bar lines for everything, and they uh, and the lack of, of good mensural uh, script forms. This score uh, is an addition, a very serious addition, of a mensural score uh, using Finale and then edited by by Photoshop. It is very far from with what we expected to have. Uh, for the best of our knowledge, there have been two, two, two projects that work with menstrual notation. The first one is Abu Speaks, developed by, by Laurent Bourin. Uh, they focus uh, on doing an optical musical recognition of uh, printed scores. Or the case of the computerized menstrual and musical editing project, they work with, with early uh, menstrual uh, uh, music also with, with printed music. It's different from what, what we are dealing with. So we propose a solution, it's a score editor for this kind of music, and uh, with these features. Mm. We, uh, we are encoding all possible uh, stylistic copies particularities. Uh, we have developed, well, Beatriz Pascual has developed a font, a, a, a design and developed a font uh, of script uh, menstrual notation. Uh, the system uh, uses a background uh, musical model to guide the user action. For example, it uses metrical hands for uh, visual metrical hands. Uh, we follow the, in, the interactive pattern recognition pattern so that when a user uh, takes a decision, an editing decision, this decision is learned by the system in order to be applied in other similar situations. <coughs> and we are doing real time transcription from the uh, old notation to the new notation using a finite state uh, trans, uh, transducer. And something we have not done yet is that we want to support to musical encoding initiative format. Okay. We have developed a, a, a prototype. It's done using Java and Java FX for the graphical part. Uh, we have used for that a library that we have used for other projects that we have a, a, a improved to, to include natural notation. The system is able also to do harmonic analysis, singularity analysis, these kind of things. We input, input and output to, uh, to and from different formats. Uh, the system uh, is able to encode uh, this, this, this music notation also. We have used the spacing algorithm by Pier Francesco Bellini. Uh, the system is able, also able to, to in, uh, include uh, analytical information. And we are recording all user actions to later do a user experience uh, analysis. Let's take a look uh, uh, to the result of a transcription. This is the original uh, manuscript, and this is the result of the editing. 
uh, of, uh, with our tool. Uh, as you can see, the, the, the resolve reflects faithfully, but in the case of spacing, uh, the original source. And we are very glad of, 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 uh, of the already result. Let's listen to, to the music that sounds in there. One thing that, that you can see here is that in the, the, the syncopations are uh, notated using black notes. In the, when we have white notes, it means that it's straight, it goes on time. Okay? This is the way the, the, the measural notation involves these kind of things. For doing that, we have used a, a finite state transducer. In this case, we have printed on only the, the states that have participated in the previous uh, example, uh, and the, the the states contain the, the times, the, the, the times, the measure times. The transcriptions contain the source, the source um, uh, notes, the uh, figures, the source figures, and the output of in in modern notation. Uh, as you can see there, we have put also the number of times the, the transcriptions have been visited. That is more or less to have the as having the 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 probabilities of being visited that we will, will be used by the system to propose the user the new actions. Uh, the system uh, mm, gives visual feedbacks for, for the editing process. Uh, for example, as the most difficult thing is to, to, to uh, finish, uh, to finish uh, measures because we don't have our lines, the system uh, uh, helps the user with, with these kind of visual things. In an encoding process, for example, the user uh, the user uh, introduces a new note, eh? and as I have said before, the, the, the black or white notes depend on the syncopation. So when the user, for example, introduces a new, a new note, this is wrong. Eh? Given the, the theory at that time, this should be a black note. Eh? Um, and uh, as the system, uh, the model, the transducer does not accept, accept the input, he suggests the most probable uh, option, no? uh, in the, and, and this decision is, is learned by the system to do to, to, uh, further uh, edition, uh, editions. No? In the case, the, if the user has decided to maintain the, the wrong uh, note because it was uh, exactly this way in the manuscript, an annotation is added, but it's correctly transcribed. In the case of the, the user has decided, it was a mistake by the user when inputting uh, with the keyboard the, the notes, and it, uh, it was wrong, it's corrected and correctly described. The system is able also to, to do additions, both in the original and the transcribed uh, uh, sequence. Uh, in this case, for example, we have a, a, a dot, and the system generates the, the corresponding uh, tie and half note. So, this is the presentation of, of, of the project. Uh, we, we can edit also flags or this kind of things, but this is something, this is not new. You can find it in, in any editor, so it's not worth to, to the whole time for it. We have a, still a, a year of project uh, in which we want to, to finish all the statistic variants required because we are encoding 10% uh, of, the, of the manuscripts, so we have to add many variations of that, of, of I call the, the stylistic variants. Uh, some of the, the visual elements that we will find are not present in musical encoding initiatives, so we have to add to the format new extensions. Uh, we want to, to include uh, autocomplete because the, this uh, encoding process in most times is, is done uh, by hand. Uh, we want to use also the harmonic information we have because at that time the harmonic rules were very very tight and it's simple to, to, to use this information to improve the, 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 the encoding process. Uh, we have in our group uh, uh, some persons working with interactive uh, optical uh, uh, music recognition of early manuscripts and uh, we have to join both projects. And finally, we have to start the, the encoding of all the of the library, and that's all. <laughs>